Good, beautiful day, everybody. We're still in the Ozarks, and today we are leaving to go meet someone that we've been missing. Y'all love him. We haven't seen him since we've been back home, so we thought he has a break between school and work. Let's go see him. Can you guess who it is? Jonathan. Whoop, whoop. Let's go see that kid we love. Whose truck is that? It's John B. But where is he? He's he, not up here. He's right up there. Oh. <laughs> Jonathan! Hey. Hi. Mm. Ah, this has been forever. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I know y'all been asking about him. Here he is. We've been trying to see him just as bad as y'all been trying to see him. Hey, Cody. <laughs> We're at Long Pool Recreational Area. This place is gorgeous. Anytime that we've kayaked the Big Piney, this is where we would take out at. And Jonathan's been kayaking a section where he puts in right here. It's only a four mile float, but it's easy for him to do by himself and he can bike shuttle. Is that what you do, you bike shuttle? Yeah, yeah, I drop my bike off at the takeout and then I ride my bicycle back to the put-in right here. It's about four miles, four-ish. It's about the same distance as what the river is. This is the Big Piney, which is a beautiful river. And it is actually a really crazy float if you do it from the upper part and you take out here, which is an all day affair. They do have a campground here. They have primitive and RV hookups. So we're trying to figure out if we want to camp here or spend the day here and go find a, a primitive spot somewhere. But this is gorgeous. So Jonathan already caught a smallmouth bass. I'm gonna get in that action. You can't fish on the beach here because there's people swimming, but today there's nobody here except for us. So we're still gonna follow the rules and not fish on the beach, but Kelly wants to lay out on the beach. And I've recently been asked, Cody, where do you keep your fishing gear at? I simply keep my fishing gear behind my seat. Move that weight bench. Probably need to move the shower seat and just set it on top of the workout bench up front. There we have it. Fishing gear. Vest, fly rod, ugly stick, and open cast drill. Definitely gonna wanna use the open cast drill today. -da -da, look at that thing. There you have it. Now all my fly fishing gear is in that vest, but I do have a tackle box for baits that I use on my open cast. And I put it back here because I have a bunch of things that rattle, like rattle traps. So I didn't want to have to listen to that. So there is my tackle box. I don't want to hear that going down the road. I got a pet peeve with noises, y'all. If there's a lot of like rattling noises or squeaking, I'm constantly moving around, stopping it. Kelly has learned. She starts already trying to stop the sounds because I almost wreck every single time. I'm like, what is that? But y'all know it's not all about me. We gotta get Angel Princess set up. Wow, that is a big log. <laughs> it's a big tree, man. Good Lord. I see why they haven't moved it. Now the reason we're having to meet Jonathan here at Long Pool instead of somewhere way out in the middle of nowhere is that he's got to work tomorrow. This way he only has like a, I think like a 50 minute drive to his work. Everywhere else we were looking at was going to be like two hours. Y'all already know what I'm here for. The sunshine. The boys are going to fish. I'm going to do what I do best and lay out. And then later on, we can cook dinner. Ooh, I have something really good for Jonathan that y'all haven't seen me make. And he has not had it. I'm really excited about it. Ooh, I can't wait for dinner. There she is, y'all. She's in her position for the day. She was complimenting Jonathan on his new hat. <laughs> that was a pretty good find. My first hat this style. 
Looks good on you. I'm not a big hat wearer, but I'd, I'd wear a hat like this. Oh, it fits you. So I have my open cast. I brought my fly rod, fly gear too. It's all in this backpack. Jonathan already set up all his gear. Yeah, got a spin cast rod and my fly rod. Now I've caught that fish, I'll stand in like right in front of this rapid, right before it started. But I think ideal spot is to go below that rapid. Yeah. So I'm gonna try a fly rod right here. Okay. It really has been a long time since we've been to this area, as Kelly had said. I'm talking like six years ago, probably. Got a feeling this might be the money spot. Little, but it's a fish. Looky here, looky here. This is turning out to be one of the greatest days of my life. Got ourselves a little smallmouth bass there. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> ah! Oh, let that little fella go. Yeah, boy. I've switched areas and this spot over here is gorgeous and I wanted to be by the boys anyway but this spot's great I am loving this and Cody informed me he caught two fish yes I did pretty entertaining just to sit back and watch Jonathan try to traverse the riverbank looking good John B this is really the life Man, this is one of the greatest days of my life. I haven't had a day like this in a long time. I mean, look at her setup, man. We're just trying to see if he falls. So he said he didn't catch anything, right? Just two earlier? Well, I caught two earlier, and then I went back where I caught the other two, and I caught two more brim on a different lure. So I caught four. I've caught two, only two. I haven't really been trying very hard. I've been enjoying just the yeah. Well, I walked around, because that drains in like another creek on the backside of this island, and uh, it's really pretty. 
lots of baby fish and I uh, walked all the way around. I didn't realize how big the island was and I came out to where this section of the river and the other one come together and just walked back up. Uh, Kelly has finally decided she's going to try to fish. You know what you're doing? Yeah. I'm not catching anything. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it doing that? You got to push the button in I before. Did. You do it. You do it before you twist. Now push the button. Uh -huh. Push it. Okay. Now, now go. And then do what? Just let it fly. Do I let the button go? Yeah. You turn around. Looky there. I ain't catching nothing right now. Look at Kelly. She knows how to fish. What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, I got a little smallmouth, and that is a little smallmouth. <laughs> Number three, Jonathan. Now Jonathan's all crazy. Jazzed up. Jazzed up. He hit that thing hard. Like, I wasn't ready for that. Kelly caught a fish. <laughs> Wait, babe, you gotta keep it in the water a little. Yeah. Well, not all the way. All right, Kelly caught herself her first fish in a while. It's a little small mouth. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna pitch her with your fish? Get close. Get close, oh, that's Kelly's fish. Did you get it? Yeah. Kelly caught a fish. <laughs> I think we're about to wrap it up here. It's almost four o'clock and we are going to camp in this campground. So we're gonna find a spot that's available and do some dinner. And we're gonna take showers here. They're pretty good. We settled on a camp spot. We are in the RV area because it is big enough for both of us. We can have one camp spot and there's plenty of room for Jonathan's tent. I haven't set up a tent in forever. Really? You haven't been camping? No. I've done lots of day use activities like mountain bike, hike, and kayak, but just no camping. No camping. Gosh, I miss this tent. You know, this is this is the best tent I've ever owned. Yeah, it's it's a pretty dang good tent. Oh yeah. Yeah, this was the tent that we had. We still have this tent, but he got the exact same one and it's a really good tent. It's Alps Mountaineering. And it's like the the zippers are thicker. Um, the material. The material's thicker. It's just all in all a really nice tent. I'll have to show you whenever, if you're new to the channel, I'll have to show you once he sets it up. Oh, and if you're new, this is my brother, Jonathan. I know a lot of people ask. He lives in Russellville, Arkansas, and he works a lot and he goes to school. So we don't get to see him as often as we would like to when we are in town. And then of course, our stuff's already all set up. <laughs> it's so easy for us now we just put the jacks down we're done back it up and go. we had to put on some blocks i actually felt pretty bad watching jonathan set his stuff he up. said he hasn't set up a tent in a while Hold what i think the last time i set it up was when i was in new mexico back in october oh my gosh, jonathan. i think i say that i found the oak leaf in here from the fall so i must have set it up sometime in the fall here it was that oak leaf on the ground right over that yellow one. Oh, okay. That was probably around here. Yeah, that's an Arkansas oak. That's not one from out there. The ones out there, they were small oaks. They were not very big. Other people put leaves and flowers in a book and press it. Jonathan presses his leaves in his tent. It's yeah, another way, another option. Now, Kelly tonight is cooking Jonathan something that we've had. I don't know if we put it in the fall. Nope, they've never seen it. You've never it. seen it? It's good. It's, it's so, so good. good. It's just a chicken Caesar wrap, but it's not your traditional chicken Caesar wrap. It is, oh, so good. Can't wait to make it for Jonathan. You excited about it, John B? Oh, yeah. John B and the trio, man. Actually, this is the duo. All right, let's get this stuff out. All right. Got that all set up and Kelly has already started preparing 
the dish for tonight. Okay guys, so tonight we're gonna make the chicken Caesar wrap. To prepare this, we have chicken. I have two breasts that I just filleted like a cutlet and we're gonna season it with our Blanchard's Cajun seasoning. Oil. Oil. I need to get out there and get the cooker turned on, the stove top. Third or fourth time's a charm. Do y'all see that technique there that Jonathan's doing? He's leveling out his cot with wood. We taught him that, didn't we, John B? Oh yeah, it took me long enough. I mean, I've only had these for like a year, maybe. Oh yeah. That's what he needs to do. What are you doing over here, honey? We're gonna cook the chicken and some bacon. You need more oil? Yeah, bring me a new one. Okay, on it. Got Kelly her oil, and as I was in there, she threw in her first piece of the chicken and some bacon. It turns out good. Every time I cook for Jonathan, I'm like, mmm, it didn't turn out good. <laughs> Jonathan has one of our oldest items. This ice chest was our ice chest before we got our first fridge air. Oh, and the, the table. Look at too. this thing. It has been beaten to death. Oh, and the table back there? Yeah, it still works. It needs to, you have to lub lubricate it, but it works. You have to lubricate it? What do you mean? Like, you gotta spray some lube on it. To get it to open up? Yeah. It locks up on you? Yeah. And like, to get, you know how the legs have the push buttons on them? I can see that locking up. Yeah. Okay. It's huh. missing a screw too, but it still works. Hey, <laughs> more power to you. I'm gonna go ahead and dice this chicken up and it's gonna go in this bowl here. And then she's got two more pieces of chicken, some bacon. Honey, I really think it's gonna be good. Oh. I think it's gonna be good, y'all. No good. Johnson thinks it's gonna be good. <laughs> I'm laughing at his class. We've created a monster. The reason I say we've created a monster is because we have crystal glasses for special occasions. We want to be the tester of stuff to make sure things are tasting good. I've already been testing it. Things are tasting good. Really? Kelly's sneaking some taste in there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. That's spicy. Time to make that Caesar dressing. We've got mayonnaise. We're gonna go in with some olive oil, some lemon juice. Ooh, that smells really good. Dijon. And then we have Worcestershire or Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. I'm sorry, what? Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire. Everybody say it together. We're gonna learn today. And then we got some pepper. And last but not least, it's gonna be some Parmesan. Parmesan Reggiano. Yes, I always use Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmesan. Looking good, babe. You wanna taste it? To me? Yeah, you wanna taste it? It was weird. I didn't taste it. Hold on. I really didn't. <laughs> It tastes like Caesar. Good. Okay. It tastes like Caesar. We got ourselves some romaine lettuce that I'm going to chop up. The last thing that goes in the salad is basil. Chop it up. Okay. All right. That shall go in there. These are my pasta, my salad tosses. Oops. And now let's do some dressing. Okay, so then we can also have regular, all the rest of the Caesar for on the wrap or the dip if you want. Now we're going to fry our tortillas and we've got some pesto. Y'all know I love pesto. And that will go right in here with the chicken. Tortillas are done. It's time to build this baby. So we've got some chicken. Don't want to always overload it, so I'm not going to do too much because then I won't be able to roll it up. In fact, I might need too much chicken. But we have plenty of tortillas, so you can have as many as you want. And then we got some lettuce, which I always go overboard with. Yep. <laughs> some bacon. Man, you really didn't go overboard with <laughs> <on> that bacon. <laughs> well, I just want to make sure I can roll it up, y'all. Some avocado. Make sure we kind of roll it up now. It don't look like it's happening. Why don't you eat it like a taco? Yeah, just eat it like a taco. We'll do that. 
It's a soft shell taco. And we didn't tell you a minute ago, but we do pair this with chips. One of our favorite brands is Boulder Canyon. And we just go with the classic sea salt. We're nothing fancy. I, the older I get, the more I just like the sea salt. I don't know what's, what that's about. But. When I was a kid, anything with like ranch or barbecue or whatever was great, but sea salt's solid. I've tried the vinegar. It's kind of rough. Burns my tongue. It seems like sometimes I overdo it with the vinegar. Like if you get sea salt and vinegar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. too much. No, don't vinegar. judge this tortilla. It was the first one, so it soaked up all the chicken grease. So one of y'all can have that one. I'll eat it. The season's bomb, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's almost like the front for the bacon. Got so much going on. Mm -hmm. That's how good this is. I'm actually loving these tortillas too. They're really good. This is fire, and Kelly's making us some more. So good. I'm excited. Mm. And it is such a great experience to see John B again. We miss his Kurt. I love him. <laughs> love y'all. And I know y'all love him too. Y'all ask about him all the time. I know. But we're going to say goodbye because we want to spend the rest of the evening with Jonathan. I know y'all want to too, but we got some catching up to do. Yeah, we haven't seen this guy since Christmas. We'll catch you on the other. Bye.